Ben Affleck's cameo in Jennifer Lopez's latest visual album is the best. Just a few days after Valentine's Day, on February 16, Jennifer Lopez's visual album This Is Me Now, a love story will make its Prime Video premiere. Lopez and Prime Video unveiled the first official trailer for the project ahead of the historic event, in which the actress was joined by a number of her well-known pals. Lopez's new album, This Is Me Now, is accompanied with a film, and if the pictures reflect the general tone and feel of the album, listeners may anticipate a musical roller coaster. At the beginning of the trailer, Lopez states, I know what they say about me, about our hopeless love stories, that we're weak. I'm not helpless. After that, the pictures cut to Lopez riding a motorcycle and pictures of her attending weddings, getting engaged, and other events. There's a lot of dancing, of course. Viewers can get glimpses of Neil deGrasse Tyson, Derek Huff, and Lopez's husband Ben Affleck. However, a complete list of celebrity cameos is listed in the official press release from Prime Video. This describes the course of my and Ben's love affair. We are delighted now that we have experienced a variety of unpleasant situations since we know what is best for ourselves. Now my happiness is with Ben, and so is Ben, said JLo. Since everything we do is constantly in the limelight, we have never been overly transparent with the media and we constantly feel anxious in front of them. Ben and I had finally found happiness together. Photos of Lopez in her childhood neighborhood of the Bronx are also included in the trailer. He was standing on the Castle Hill train platform when he commented, I learned the hard way that not all love stories have happy endings. He continued, Every time someone asks me what I want to be when I grow up, my answer is always in love, in a moment that combined pop philosophy with pop music. In her Instagram post to commemorate the premiere of the trailer, Lopez said, It's been years since I've been this anxious, excited, afraid, and excited to share something with you. The most intimate thing I've ever seen is the account of the transition from This Is Me then to This Is Me Now.